Hello America. Anyone? Anyone? This is Sean Bianca, GOP girl with Clean TV Live and True News for President Trump. Anyone out there? Trying to see if I have an audience. All right, come on everyone. Anyone still up and at them? Because I want to talk about the Academy Awards last night. Thank you everybody. We did it. I posted my video telling everyone or asking everyone to boycott the Oscars and in less than 24 hours I had 50,000 views and not one person was watching the Oscars. Now we did it because guess what everyone? The Oscars last night had a viewership of 32.9 million viewers. The least amount of viewers since 2008. You know, maybe Hollywood should work on uh, using their uh, intelligence a little bit because, you know, you might not want to warn the American people about your trashing their newly elected president who is extremely popular before you go out and trash him on national television. Just saying. Now also, good, uh, this is something to know. One in six Americans has no idea who won Best Picture. In other words, Americans don't care. Also, more than 50% of the American population has not even seen any of the nominated films. <laughs> so, but uh, let's talk about last night's Academy Awards, which I did not watch. However, obviously all over the internet, it was the biggest, the biggest embarrassment to the Academy Awards ever. Apparently, Hollywood should have focused a little more on the Oscars and who they were giving the awards to, to whom they were giving the awards to, rather than focusing on trashing President Trump. Because Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway, <laughs> I can't even, I mean, I'm sorry, but how stupid can you be? Apparently, Warren Beatty handed Faye Dunaway the envelope and Faye Dunaway announced the best picture as La La Land. Well, after the whole entire crew from La La Land took to the stage and thanked everyone, oh, the love of my life, and I mean, I mean hilarious, you just can't make this stuff up. After they thanked everybody, Backstage, everyone's running around. Oh no, oh no, what do we do, what do we do? We, they're, they just called the wrong winner. The winner was Moonlight. Now, you kind of have to wonder, first of all, karma. <laughs> and uh, Donald Trump did, President Trump did tell Breibart News today, I think they were focused so hard on politics that they didn't get their act together at the end. Well, anyway, Moonlight won, and apparently it's about an African-American homosexual, and I don't know, some of the chatter is that because last year the Academy Awards was accused of being too, they were being racist because no one that was African-American won, so this year they decided maybe at the last minute, who knows? Maybe La La Land did win, and maybe they decided, nope, we can't do this. Who knows? At any rate, it was really quite comical. You can look it up on YouTube, and it really is funny. You must watch. Um, you know, America, let's keep up the good work. Let's not support these Hollywood actors. Uh, these Hollywood actors, they clapped, they applauded the Iranian producer, director that won for some best foreign film or something and he refused to come to the awards because of President Trump's inhumane, you know, new immigration policy. And, you know, oh, Hollywood's applauding this. Applauding it? And, and, and we have for the first time in America, on an American stage, we had a verse from the Quran read. And Hollywood, clap, 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 clap. I wonder if they'll clap, 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 clap if 
one of their friends gets beheaded because so many radical Muslims have been allowed into this country. You know what, Hollywood, it's time to wake up and smell the roses. Because you know what, a lot of Americans aren't going to your movies, not just because they don't like you, but because they're afraid of what could happen when they step into a movie theater. And that's the truth. People don't want to be trapped in a movie theater if some radical Muslim ends up deciding to do something. We don't want to go to your films anymore. And maybe you should think twice before you clap, 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 clap and say that you want to stand with the Muslims. Because like it or not, the religion of Islam does not allow for Christianity. The religion of Islam does not allow people to have dogs. Hollywood supposedly likes animals. I've said this before. I watched a dog be strapped with explosives by ISIS. Yeah, I want them in my country. No, I don't think so. I give an Oscar. Sean Bianca, GOP girl. I'm giving an Oscar, my own Oscar, to President Donald Trump for standing up for what the majority of Americans believe and for standing up for us and for attempting to keep us safe again, for attempting to give us jobs again. And I believe he will do it. We need to stand together. We need to stand proud and we need to support our president because he is doing the best job he can and he's done more than any other president in one month in office. Anyway, I just had to come out and thank everybody for boycotting the Oscars and giving Hollywood what they deserve. And keep it up, everyone. Boycott all of Hollywood. Boycott their movies. Boycott buying magazines. I used to love to watch, to read the magazines with all the great fashion. You know what? I don't want to look at it anymore. So, stand with GOP Girl. And let's not support Hollywood. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great night. This is Sean Bianca with GOP Girl and Clean TV Live and True News for President Trump. Good night.